ladies and gentlemen it is time it is no money spent episode 5 in, in madden 25 i was about to say no money spent two times in a row good lord what is wrong with me today we have a good one i'm feeling the vibes last episode was an absolute classic in my opinion and today could be another potential classic we got some very elite packs because i have no life i have been grinding like crazy recently and um yeah it's been a very true grind um i'm excited to show you guys the team and the progress being made and we have a lot of things to look forward to coming up as well as the new season coming up too and so yeah ladies and gentlemen it is no money spent man <sighs> feels good um and yeah let's get into it all right here we are the main menu you love to see it we have chris rodriguez on the screen the goat man he's technically not the goat we all know dk metcalf is the true goat of no money spent but hey he's the goat right now we have 32 packs today 1.1 million coins 455 tickets level 46 and an 85 overall team it feels good now probably wondering kano you jump six levels in an episode now i know that's kind of normal uh if you look at the past episodes but from level 40 to 46 you know how much xp that takes and trust me i know so you're probably wondering how did we get there well to start off we might as well show you we did a lot of work over the, the past episodes as you can see week one's done week two week three week four week five and week six is not done yet but close now as you can see how did you do that, Kano? Well, we grinded solo season. Soul Battles was not available. I'm recording this the day it is available again because they do the weekly reset, so I wasn't able to. So I did solo seasons to be able to just grind these out. Um, it was a little bit un unnecessary, I know, but it does actually give you a lot of XP if you really think about it. So please take your time to do Soul Battles and solo seasons because it will clutch up XP. In the programs, though, they dropped uh, Gridiron Guardians Part 2. So this is a huge video as well for that, meaning we had uh, an extra challenge to add on to that. So another 72k XP, Hispanic Heritage dailies and weeklies I completed, meaning a hey, Barrios is able to become an 88 today, which is nice. And uh, dailies have been completed too. You get 12k XP a day, by the way. Uh, I did find out the math and here we are. Level 46, we went from level 40 which was the 86 token to level 46, which gets us the 87 token as well as the 81 pack. One small goal that hopefully can be achieved. I don't know how it's going to be a miracle, but we need to hit level 49 before the season ends. I know. What are you thinking, Kano? Are you okay? Well, the reality is Cooper DeJean, um, I was able to spend tickets, I think in between episodes or maybe an episode ago to get uh, an 89 token. And I know that sounds normal, but I told you guys in the past episodes, I've been upgrading Cooper DeGene via the Season 2 Field Pass, right? We need an 88 uh, token, and you think that's pretty simple, but we need 760 tickets. And you probably think, oh, wait, you just need, uh, you know, 150 per level, right? So you get this, um, but basically you get 150 tickets per level. And I don't know how this happened, but if we get these two levels... We're still five off. Pain, I know. Um, so we have to hit level uh, 49, which gets us a season three XP token as well. I know there's an 88 at level 50. That's ideal. If we can hit level 50 before the season ends, which we have four days, that would be insanely clutch. But the odds of that happening, considering we have nothing else I can really do besides get tackles that won't even give much. I think I can only get like eight, 8K XP from that challenge in with four days left with dailies i don't think it's possible so that's the uh situation for season two gridiron guardians is completed yeah i know life gridiron guardians like crazy and i can it fully explain how we also got a bunch of mega energy cells and a lot of packs today that are gridiron guardian themed plus there's ltds for gridiron guardian so it's a great day to be opening gridiron guardian packs um yeah they drop new sets of challenges, and all we need is a rushing TD to finish the stats here. Um, we also, uh, I think I did sets earlier, but as you can see, what the crap, Kano. They added a new part two win games with Gridiron Guardians, and you have 48 wins, Kano. Are you okay? No, but it's all good, because you're probably thinking, how? How in the world did you get from 
such a low win count to 48. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to do you guys dirty because I usually say my plan so you guys can follow along, but I have no life house rules. Yeah, um, it's pretty simple if you just grind it out. It does feel like it's going to take two years, but it doesn't take too long. I won 40 house rule games in this game mode, giving me a lot of good packs as well as good progress, meaning Kyle Hamilton's going to get an upgrade today. And let's just say he's going to be a very high overall, and he's already a high overall. We know life gridiron guardians. Um, team captains, we fully completed as well. I do want to throw that out there. So our kicker is upgraded decent amount. I saw uh, comments about upgrading Pat Tillman. The reason I'm not doing that is because Kyle Hamilton, I finally was able to get some upgrade tokens for that. And since I'm already working on a kicker situation, it's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Maybe I'll switch some things up in the future, but right now I'm kind of focused on Kyle Hamilton. There was some extra stuff. I forgot what it was. I think it was just, yeah, it was mega energy cell and then an 81 plus normal pack or an 83 plus B and D pack. So pretty simple there. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the squad. Now it looks pretty similar, but you could see a boost on Chris Rodriguez. What happened? Well, I finally found out how to use strat cards. Now, I don't know if I cut this out in previous videos, but I kept mentioning in my recordings that I don't know how to do strat cards. And then I realized something while reading a comment right before this video. I was thinking about it, like how do you guys do the strategies? And so, by the way, here's the team. It's practically the same, but Kyle Hamilton has a big upgrade to an 87 overall now because of the mega energy cells. So that's a cool bonus. But I was scrolling, man. And I was just thinking like, how in the world am I able to do this, right? And then I was on this screen thinking, and I look to the left, I'm looking at the top left here, by the way. I'm not looking at anything below. And the icons are messed up, by the way. Ignore the icons, it's weird. But I notice strategy items, and then I collect and I realize. So yeah, that's on me. I totally forgot where I don't I didn't know till this point where strategy stuff was, and now I found it. So that's a W. Um, so yeah, the Hispanic Heritage guys are upgraded by an overall, which is so, which is really nice. I think that gives them plus one to everything, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so the packs. Oh boy, it's one of those episodes. We have a lot of tokens, um, a lot of daily stuff. I'll open those, you know, off camera, but we do get some big upgrades. But the Gridiron Guardian packs. We got a bunch of Mega Cell Energies. We got three 83 plus Gridiron Guardian player, B and D. Or 81 plus gridiron guardian player sellable. I'll probably do the 81 plus for three of these packs. We weird we have a season boom 78 plus. I don't remember what this was from. We have legendaries option. We got an 86 plus uh BND player. We got a 87 token for Cooper DeGene. We got an 81 overall. Again, we have two of these as well. Uh 83. Uh, we have two 86, I forgot about this. We have two 86 plus overall B and D's, which are going to be super vital today. The 81 team of the week stuff that we had. And we're going to start off with this pack right here, this pack right here. Now, this is a pretty simple pack, um, because, well, if you guys have watched the past episodes, you can pretty much tell who I'm going to take. We're going to take Kirk Cousins. It does not matter too much, but if we always wanted to switch to Kirk Cousins, if we felt like Penix was bad, we can do it now. So that's not bad. We're going to open up the Legendary Options Pack. I know, a little bit of an interesting take. Legendary option, Options Pack. But I saw a comment recently that said, Kano, do not do the 78, or don't do the fancy picks. They're not great. Do the value recruitment. I don't know if I did this. I think I did this once, maybe. If not, I haven't. I don't really touch this pack because I forgot what happened last time. And I'm going to just listen. If it's good, it's good. I mean, I don't really care what happens, really. But we're going to open up the value recruitment pack. Hopefully, it's some decent. We're just praying and we get a 80 grid iron guardian plus. Get an 81. Not bad. Get an 80 punter. Another 80. 82 and the cap it off in 82 it's not that in the world uh kind of wish i got something better but actually it's pretty decent not going too much into detail about uh getting the 86 pluses or whatever but we're gonna do the 81 plus see if we can pull something good hopefully that'd be really nice get an 81 off rip not the 
not the proudest, but I'll take an 81. Um, it's 81 plus, it's just two overalls down. I'm giving it more opportunity. And we get an 81 Tyrell Huntley. We're trying, man. We're trying. That's kind of where it's at. We're trying. Um, hopefully, we can pull just some good here. And we get an 83. 9 or a 90 would go crazy. An 89 or 90 would go crazy here. Or an 86 even. I'm pretty sure those are 100K. So some would be nuts. We get an 83 again. Are they going to ramp it up? Why not? Why not give us Vita Vea? And they don't. They give us triple 83. So honestly, I'll take that. B and D. I'm not taking an 83 guaranteed. It would be different. It was an 83 plus maybe. Um, but honestly, 86 plus B and D. Hopefully some good here. A new addition to the team. So, for context, I was scrolling uh, mutt.gg for these 86s, wondering what could I get. And yeah, I saw Daniel Jones there. But, oh my god. Oh, that sucks. Orange take the 286 pluses. I know, I know. Look, I know. I want to get some starters. Obviously, I can get a guaranteed, I think, 11k, but I don't want to risk it all there. I'm going to take my 286 pluses and just pray that we can get some starters, maybe some 89s, hopefully some decent. Let's just pray, man. Here's the first one. Let's see. Do we get some good? Oh, please. It's a kicker. Oh, my God, man. Yo, they're doing us dirty. I'm going to be the first one to say it. They're doing us dirty. The reason I say that is because I don't need a QB or kicker. I'm already working on the kicker captain thing. I don't need a kicker, bro. Oh my god. Okay, last one. Please, dude, just give us something good. A starter, a usable one for a minute. Please. Okay, so apparently EA did not like me being happy last week. Are you serious? That was the worst hyped up pack opening I've ever done. It technically Boswell is usable. We pulled a duplicate. Why? Why? What did I do wrong, bro? Man. Oh. Well, I guess we can add these dudes to the squad. At least some of them. I don't even know if. Let's let's go see what the new team's gonna look like. And there we go. The team is done. And I'm not gonna lie. I came in with a bad mood, but luckily, I forgot about a couple things. And we did pull some players that actually did benefit the team massively. And because of Kyle Hamilton. Yeah, they're going to make a bigger impact than expected. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the new team. Kyle Hamilton is a 93 overall. Um, He has pick artist. That is not a glitched, a glitched ability thing he has. It's for zero AP. He's going to be able to be a good ball hawk. But he's a 93 overall. Uh, we're going to be able to hopefully grind enough to get him to a 95 before the season ends. Uh, once the season ends, though, he will be dropped down to, I think, an 88 from what uh, a couple of y'all or somebody was telling me in the comments. And yeah, um, he's going to look pretty good for us uh, for now. But basically, the reason why I was saying that while I was talking about Kyle Hamilton, he made a bigger impact than expected because you can look closely and if you see a Lee McNeil, He's an 88, he's an 88 overall boosted. Why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's your new team. As you could see, uh, there are some boosts that have been made. Now, you can also see Braxton Berrios is an 89. I forgot to mention that, or an 88, whatever. He has the cool art now. That's good news. Um, higher than Drake London in the depth chart. Um, Daniel Jones is also there too. But as you know, you get a chemistry boost. And you can see on the left side, even though it's beyond corrupted on the left side, there's 11 and 14. I guess that adds up to 25. I don't know the strategy, uh, chemistry math there. But um, 
basically a lot of these guys got heavy boosts and uh our right guard that we pulled that i totally forgot we did is now our new you know right guard so i uh say i think sour bow names and then dewan jones is an 85 boosted so our old line's a lot better our defense Blankenship's an 85, right? So that's a cool bonus. Hamilton isn't boosted. That would make sense, though, because he is the guy who gives the boost. Um, Jonathan Cooper behind uh, Haley is an 85. We may have to move him up in the depth chart. Um, Kale Farley's an 85. That makes him even more OP. Uh, McNeil's an 88. And Eric Stokes, unironically, is an 88. Oh, because he has great on Guardian Cam. I totally forgot about that. So that's a bigger boost because Stokes has Gridiron Guardian Gem. Yeah, and our punter and kicker now has a big bonus. So apparently, us pulling the guys we did actually ended up benefiting us still. Uh, Cooper DeGene is 87 as well. Uh, his core boosts him up for sure. It's a big game. I keep forgetting how important today's game is because I haven't really been thinking about it. Today, it's, it's a big one. If we lose this ball game, it's game over for the season. Now, I'm not saying it's game over for the series. I know. Look, man, I'm going to be honest with y'all because I want to be up front. You know, we all know last uh, uh, No Money Spent series I did definitely ended off on the wrong note because I just did one season kind of left it at that. Um, but we still can't give up, right? Even if we lose this game, man, we cannot give up. And that's kind of the mindset, man. We just got to keep pushing. But my goal is to win today, right? We're coming off a really good win. I think we played very poised last uh, game that we did. This one's important, though. We have to keep our mental on check. We have to keep our reads on check. We cannot make a mistake. Even though I played a bunch of house rules that definitely messed up the mental state of, like, making decisions smartly, we're just going to have to work with what we got. It's going to be a tight game. I just have a feeling we just got to fight it out hopefully a good one and yeah man let's let's have a good game so ladies and gentlemen it is time if you win you're in the playoffs if you lose you're out but yeah man let's see what this team can do and i said let's get a w man ladies and gentlemen no money spent Let's make it to the playoffs. And here we are. That's our team. Chris Rodriguez is on the auction block again. You already know the drill. That means we're about to go off. Playing Cooper Jean Penix, and I think in 86, I didn't notice who it was. We can do. So he does have Penix, so we are going to contain a little bit, but let's see what he does. He's going to run the ball off, rip and <sighs> Hamilton. Hey, I'm not expecting much. He's going to pass probably, but we're going to try to bite it here. And we're bringing heat. Brian Burns able to contain the edge. And Brian Burns, he's playing like the rents do, which it technically is right now for him. Middle linebacker, Rodriguez. That could be kind of a cool system. But we're going to bring the heat. That's a sack. Brian Burns and Espanana, I'm pretty sure, playing like the rent is due. All right. Oh, my God. But he's running a very loaded set now. We just have to play him here. And Penix is going to get pressured. And he is stopped. We have ball near the end zone it's big time opportunity we're gonna take it with rodriguez here we're gonna find a lane and he's gonna fight we're gonna able to get three he's bringing he's looking at bringing pressure we're gonna run the football here rodriguez gets a lane gets pushed back third and one an opportunity right up the gut we're gonna bring hb wham and he's gonna get the block conklin with a beautiful block rodriguez oh my god rodriguez fights he's giving us a look man i think we're gonna run the ball here Give it to Rodriguez. He's going to cut in. Rodriguez fights, but he's not there. Forward progress to the one. We're going to see what we're going to do. We're going to shift Penix over. Do it quickly. Touchdown. Michael Penix with the QB sneak. A long QB sneak, but he had a gap. We were ready for it. And A, we're up seven with getting ball at half. And Barrios potentially, considering that uh, Cooper DeGene is going to be blitzing. And we're checking the right side. We're going to check that and he's going for it. Caleb Farley with almost an interception I don't know what he was thinking there and being a 93 is clutch for us but let's see what he can do besides that having a disguise look hopefully it doesn't have some open we're covering that in Hamilton's almost there oh my god and we're gonna contain but we're gonna also have to press our guys up because he can run the ball here he's not gonna run the ball he had a look he's gonna bring his guy up he has a run lane I don't know why he's not going for the run lane oh because he finds Moss 
I'm never doing a three drop again. I think we catch him off guard when we bring heat, that's for sure. And we're reading him. It's a fumble. The ball's out. I don't know what just happened, but the ball came out, and now it's second and 21. And he's going to snap the ball before, before the certain mark. And he's going to have some. But Eric Stokes with the pick. And he's going. He's moving. No! Are we serious? Are, are we serious? We did not just fumble that. We did not just fumble that. Oh my god. Okay, we have to walk in because that was awful. We're going to bring heat though with Hamilton. Just bring some extra pressure. And hopefully we force an incompletion. A close one. I'm going to shift Hamilton over to this left side. And we're covering very well. We're walking down. And we're able to force a fumble. Dude, I, I don't know how. I don't know how this is happening right now. Making this a lot easier to just do a cover whatever situation. And we're going to bring heat again. And it's potentially another sack, and that's an incompletion. Fourth and 18. And hopefully the pressure gets to him. Oh, God, he had pits. No. <sighs> the one time we don't get good coverage, he's just on that when we need it the most and now I'm stuck and now we're getting unfortunate situations I can't use her because my I can't switch in time wow so an unfortunate drive that could have easily ended if I just dropped to the ground wow we can't make mistakes we'll catch him off guard don't worry if he's playing like that on that like first long drive that he had oh god it's wraps it's game over like he's not gonna survive on those mistakes and Stefan Diggs with just a beautiful gain right there we're gonna roll with this and we're gonna hit Berrios off rip just get it going get Berrios moving quick pass quick dump off it's gonna be a play action hopefully we can hit Diggs here and we're gonna just run with it if we can he tries to go on Crosby he does make an impact though that does take away yards because he went on Crosby there we're gonna find a gap here attack the run game and we're going to cut in with Rodriguez. Gets a good lane. Switch us over. Hopefully we can catch him off guard. Hit him with the RPO and we get stuffed. Or snap the ball here. Kind of do a quick read inside. And we're finding Rodriguez here on the outside. He's getting these hit sticks, man. I can't lie. So let's see. He's going to press up here. We have our guy right there. And, oh boy, we get pressured. We're going to be smart. We're going to take three. We're going to take three here. We have a good kicker. Right, Boswell's locked in. We wasted as much time as we could. We're going to kick three, and we're going to take ball at half. I think it's pretty simple. I'm going I'm to take my three. I just believe they're going to already start, start off hot, and he's going to get a play finally. Oh, boy. I haven't tried it yet. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we're going to bring some man coverage, and we're going to maybe get the... And we force him in a seven-second situation. I know it. So I'm going to hold back here on who I'm giving it to. And we are able to sack him. Yeah, he's going to kick three. We're going to go safe, man. I'm not trying to get faked on. And he's going to boot it. He's going to boot it. Oh, he misses it. Wow. He misses the kick. He's not. Oh, here we go. We find him in a rough spot. He gets a really good user. Force this ball to go on this left side. We're going to snap. Get him kind of confused. And we're going to run this ball. That's a first down. We're able to get out of bounds, too, without taking a big hit. You know what? We're going to just take a 50-50 ball here. And Diggs is open. And we're going to launch one. Stefan Diggs with the grab. Clay here. Hopefully bring something. And we're going to hit Chris Rodriguez underneath. And, of course, at least Diggs got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wasn't even panicked. I was like, of course that happened. Great play by Steph. Great heads up play by Steph on Diggs. We're going to run this ball to the right, considering that he's not putting too much there. We're going to able to. God, dude, his user is just mind reading. We're going to put Diggs on out route. Hopefully put Gray actually on that left out route. And we're going to just have to throw this ball away. I mean, I don't know what to tell you where they're going to get popped or not popped. He's going to motion his guys a certain way. 
And we're going to make this a 1-2. One, 1-2, two. One, two, and that's Diggs. Beautiful. Oh, tries to get to the end zone. Now, do we do the Kiwi sneak? He's going to think we're doing the sneak. We're going to toss it to the left. I guarantee you this works. And we fake him out. We fake him out. And Rodriguez gets a lane, but gets a broken tackle. And he dives in. Touchdown. I don't know how that works still. It works. Chris Rodriguez still gets in. I'm going to be honest. We didn't, we didn't deserve that one technically there because let's be fair. He read it well. His defense wasn't heavily guarding the QB sneak and he got there. So he's running play action here and he's going to have Barrios up the gut. We're going to light him up. He's going to try the same crap. Oh, he's going to have him underneath. We're going to light him up. He's starting to get us here. I feel like we're going to catch him off guard. And never mind. Oh, my God. He's giving us a pain right now, man. Force him to make a read. And we're going to bring heat. We get there. And we have pick artists on, on lock. It's active. Second and 12. Let's see what he calls here. Doesn't have much room to get anything. And we're able to walk down. Big incompletion right there. Walking that down. Well, let's see. He's going to do a quick snap. And we're bringing the heat. Oh, my God. We bring the sack. We're going to contain him. And, and our DBs forget how to play football. And we're going to bring London underneath. And he gets an interception. I don't know how his guy was able to stay there. And he's going to be able to get us in a bad situation. This is awful for us. He's going to run the ball up the gut. We're able to stuff him. And we just got to walk down. We just got to walk down. And great sack by Brian Burns. We're going to call a timeout on that note. We're going to bring, bring that heat. Does his kicker drill it? Hey, he's got to drill it. I know he's going to drill it. Yep, he boots it through, and now it's a tie ball game. I can't lie, but we're going to just have to be better. And we're going to hit 85 man hurts off rip. He's going to try everything he can. I don't know what my guys are doing. A lot of things going his way. I'm going to rush up the gut with Michael Penix. Oh, my God, that could have been bad. Really doing it the greatest. And we're going to hit Drake London underneath. Hitting Drake London. Gets a good play. We have 30 seconds from underneath. Hopefully we snap the football. And Penix is going to roll out here. We're going to hit the out of bounds. We're at the 50. We have 19 seconds with two timeouts. We're probably going to start calling timeouts here. We're giving it our all. I'll tell you that. And that's going to be Conklin underneath. That's a big gain. Oh my god, Conklin! And the clock's rolling. I'm going to just let it hit now. And we're gonna call a timeout. And it comes down to this. He's gonna call a timeout, try to ice us. I think we have clutch kicker because of Boswell. Oh no, we don't. We may have slow kicker, but that's gonna be a green if we make this for the win. And it's in. Oh my god. We take it home. We take it home in a close one. A lot of mistakes made by us, but man. I got to be the first to say it. He got a lot of things going his way in that first quarter. That first half, man, he got a lot of things going his way. I can't lie. The interception, then force a fumble. Like, all right. Look, man. And two fumbles that we did not recover, he recovered. Yeah. Still not winning. Hey, that's a fight by the team if, that, if I've ever seen one, right? Everything went his way and a lot of things. Yeah, we were able to walk him down on defense, but any turnover thing went his way. Penix with a legacy drive towards the end. And Boswell, a guy I was hating on the basically ever since we got him, ends up being the hero to win us the ball game. From how awful we looked to start the season, 
to be able to be in playoffs, man. We started off so bad and the team grew so much and we won three straight. I'm just happy, man. Deep down in my heart, I'm just happy for what I have and I'm trying to expand that. But yeah, man, I love y'all. Have a great day, man. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. If you're not, I hope this can enjoy your, light your mood up a little bit. It doesn't have to be the life-changing thing ever, but I'm just hoping that it does something man it makes an impact somehow i don't know how but yeah i don't know but um hopefully you guys have a great day man and um yeah we won we're in playoffs yeah um yeah i'll see you guys next one all right guys peace